Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR and main proprietor of the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So, I got Dragon Slayer up on the screen, and why is that? Well, I actually, dare I say it, made a post on Reddit tonight. Because I had, it's the new year, I got uh, the uh, in-progress beta of uh, Dragon Slayer from Greg Gillespie. Mm, I think December 22nd or 23rd around then, right before Christmas. And I've been looking it over, and I really like what I see. And I really like how Greg has reinvented the monk class. Monk class is essentially uh, a subclass of cleric, gets some cleric spells, and gets some martial abilities, but it's basically a staff fighter. And I think it's a very well-done treatment of it. It's like a friar and tuck treatment of the monk. And I am always very partial to bards. Always have been. Uh, back in my AD&D days and a few times I got to play as a player, um, my uh, best time, my favorite time playing as a player was uh, playing a bard from issue 56. Also, I think Best of Dragon, Volume 3. Uh, it was a bard class where you didn't have to become a fighter and a thief and then essentially a druid slash bard and whatever. And I'm looking at Dragon Slayer, and I'm tr looking at it, and I'm saying, you know what? The first, my, my first published work, if you can call it that, um, in the OSR, was uh, the last issue of Knoxville. I think that's issue six. Could be issue seven. Where uh, I wrote a, a bard class for Swords and Wizardry. And it was not my best work. Uh, come on. This is going back 12 years. 13 years. It's, but I think I can do a good treatment of a bard class for Dragon Slayer. And uh, I'm going to just go over like my post on Reddit with you all. Just to know what, what I threw out there on on, on Reddit. Uh, Greg Gillespie was kind enough to forward me a pre-release copy of the Dragon Slayer PDF. And I'm planning on writing up a bar class for the system simply because I've always liked bards, like I said. And my first published work was a bar class in the final issue of Knoxville. Bards often seem overlooked by most OSR systems, and they do. Uh, and I, th I think I know why, but we'll delve into that in a second. And I'm thinking probably more scold than the usual fantasy bard, but we'll see what evolves as I start the write-up. Time will tell. What abilities do you expect from a bard class? Do you expect them to be a jack-of-all-trades, master of none? This is what we often see in uh, like issue 56 or even... Most of the bar class, the, the base bar class in AD&D 2E, right? I, I like the treatment of it, but, you know, your bar is your, he, he's, he's your extra. He's your swinging personal member when everybody else is accounted for. If you have a party of four and you're covering all your basic bases of, fighter, cleric, thief, magic user, then you can afford to have a bard. So is the bard someone that can step up and fill in any kind of missing role to some extent? Uh, are they lore masters? Like, wh what is their their shtick? Uh, Pied Pipers and Charmers, right? We've, they've got, historically, and historically in the D&D &D realms, they seem to be all of this. A jack of all trades, lore masters, pied pipers and charmers, a thief with an instrument. Uh, I'd like to know what my readers over on Reddit, and I'll probably put share this on a blog side tomorrow, but I'd like to see what my 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 viewers, my listeners also think about this because I'd like to know I have my own prejudices when it comes to a bard. Okay, I have a I I, I like the bard class. I like it to be a little bit more martial, maybe, than a thief, but not 
markedly so. And it shouldn't be able to supplant any other role. Maybe it can fill in, but it shouldn't supplant, but it should have its own role. And what is that role? And is it the face? Right? In, in the A-team, right? The one that can get up there and and talk your party out of situations or charm your party out of situations. If they do have spells, are the, is their spell list going to be more support? I don't see it beyond being offensive, but is it going? How is it going to be? And, and also, right, most bards have always given a party a, a bonus to their actions, their morale when they are singing. Do we include that? So I'd like to get a little feedback from you all, and I'm throwing this out there. Um, again, I want to do this for Dragon Slayer. I may even do it for Shadow Dark, but. Those are two totally different projects. The, the assumptions and the systems are different. So the class build would, by necessity, be different. But right now, Dragon Slayer is coming out in a month or two. I'd like to have the bar class available for it. I don't think I'm going to charge for it. I think I'll put it up there for free. Uh, I think it's something that should be usable. So the part of this process with me building the bar class it's going to be shown on the, on the blog. Part of it may even be in the uh, the Substack. Substack, I'm hoping to get the first new rebooted issue out within uh, a week, week and a half, certainly before the end of the month, and uh, start the fireside chats probably next week. I got a few people, probably even Greg Gillespie, because uh, there's, there's things... You want to know what got these people involved in the hobby. I'd like to know. Greg, what got what got you in here as a player and what turned you into a creative? You know, there's gotta be that 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 tipping point. I know for me, again, I tipped my fingers into creativity with the bar class in Knoxville, and I even wrote way back with Shadis, I wrote a letter of inquiry which uh, Jolly uh, had answered my email, <clears throat> and then work became what work was. It sounded, it sounded good when you were out sick with pneumonia for a few weeks, but when you actually had to go back to the academy, time was no longer your own. But I'd like to know what got people into this hobby and what got them into the creative side and what keeps them here. This is, this is stuff that I find curious. I'm sure others do too. So, um, hey, if you back the Dragon Slayer, uh, Kickstarter, or if you're looking forward to Dragon Slayer like I am, uh, tell me what you're looking forward to most. Tell me, besides the bar class, is there something that you think is missing? If there's something missing, maybe we can uh, work on it as a community. I don't know. Let me know. All right, folks, on that note, as always, be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, roll them well. I will be back again tomorrow with another video. I couldn't tell you what, because if I did, I'd already have it done. All right, folks. Good night.